Hi friends, Elle here from Elle Plans. Welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I filmed a YouTube video, but I am so excited for what 2024 is going to bring us. So I thought I would start this year's first video with my 2024 planner system. So let's get into it. So I thought we could start by going over 2023 quickly and what did and didn't work and why I've switched to the system that I have this year. So in 2023, I was using a Paper Test Designs weekly notebook and I referred to this planner as Mega Planner and you can see why. She is chunky. So the reason she was called Mega Planner is because not only did I have my monthly sections at the front and weekly planning sections throughout the planner, I also tipped in these Moleskine daily pages for when I needed a daily page. I love this kind of Dutch door system with using the smaller pages in the middle. It just worked really well for me and this was just kind of the perfect planning method to use. And then I use the note pages in the back for my extension planner. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that usually I do use a two planner system. So I usually have one planner that is my day-to-day -day planning, kind of daily or weekly planning. And then I have an extension planner, which is my big picture planning towards my goals. And I have five big planner sections. So health, finance, social media, home, and then goals. So I actually was able to fit all of that in the back of my weekly um, planner. Um, it did mean that I have to simplify things a little bit because I didn't know if I'd have enough space, but it's all in there. And I absolutely loved having my extension planner in my kind of weekly and daily planner because it meant that I could update all of this information super quickly because I always had this planner with me. Um, so it was great and I absolutely loved it. It did get to a point where I couldn't really take it out with me anymore because it was so chunky. And I just thought, do I really need all this information with me all the time? It was nice to have the day-to-day -day planning, but I didn't really need my extension planner with me. So I thought, do I separate the day-to-day -day and the extension again? Or maybe do I move to a bigger planner such as an A5 and that be mega planner? So I have my day-to-day, -day, but I also have extension all in one planner again. And then maybe I add an on-the-go planner. So did I stick to the plan? Let's find out. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't really stick to the plan. <laughs> there are six planners here. So let's get into what they are and how I use them. First one up is my Passport On The Go Planner. I did use a pocket rings planner towards the end of the year last year and it did make me realize that I do need an on-the-go planner. I need something to write all my plans and when I'm making appointments or if things come up or if I just need to scribble in a grocery list or something, I will always have that with me as well as the cards and coupons and things that I keep. So I use this Aura Stell Cake and Sprinkles cover which I love because it does have her patented um, strap adjustment it has a slip pocket in the front, and then you can also add strings to use as a traveler's notebook with inserts like this. And this insert is from BB Rose Labs, and this one is from Salty Katie Co. The notebook that I'm using is from the Angel Shop. It is the Jumbo Passport Notebook, and I love it. So basically, it has monthly planning in the front, and then the rest of the pages are just blank grid pages. So most of the time what I'm doing is I'm drawing in kind of a weekly plan to do and to buy list. And then the rest of the pages are just daily pages and they are just scribbly. I am not really planning or doing anything. I am just, as something comes, I write it down and this sits open on my desk with my Hobonichi cousin as my um, kind of daily planner um, and weekly planner. These two just complement each other really well. So that is my passport on the go planner. As I mentioned previously, I am using a Hobonichi cousin as my main planner. 
It is in a paper bound creation uh, cover. And this year I went full on dopamine deco. Anything that makes me laugh, giggle, or smile went in my planners this year. And I haven't decorated like this since probably 2019 and I love it. Um, this is another BB Rose Lab um, insert and so is this folder insert here where I keep all my stickers and this cute little Japanese um, planner where I can future plan. And this is my Hobonichi cousin. So in the front, I've just tipped in this kind of yearly overview to kind of future plan where I'm at in the year and if I can go on vacation or if friends can visit. I use this quarterly section for my actionable steps towards my goals. So every month I write out my goals, what I wanna focus on, and then I create actions for them to keep me accountable. So not all of these are things that I can do every day. They might be just like a one-off thing. However, for the things that are daily, you can see that I am checking them off here. And then we go into our monthly section. So you can see it's all functional, scribbly, nothing cute. <laughs> it's just whatever is gonna work for me that month. Um, in the left-hand column, I do have my monthly to-do list and I just cross those off as they are done. And then we go into the weekly section. So again, my weeklies are very functional, very scribbly. Um, let me see if I can get, here we go. This is a good week to show. So at the top, I usually put birthdays, anniversaries, or kind of big tasks I need to remember to do. Um, so like water plants, or I need to remind myself to wash my hair, <laughs> or if we have a birthday. And then in this top section, I write when I do my AM routine. I've got my lunch um, and work schedule mapped out here, any appointments that I have, and then I write when I start my PM routine. And then um, you can see down here at the 11 p.m. Uh, slot is where I put my daily chore, so my daily cleaning. And I've broken it up by room in my apartment so I can focus on just one room every night, Monday through Friday. And then I put a washi tape at the midnight line and I track my meals at the bottom. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack, I track all of that down here. And then on the side of the weekly, I have my AM routine and PM routine, which you can see um, these are what I am referencing. So um, everything I wanna do in the morning, I check that off, and everything I wanna do in the evening, I check that off here. And as you can see for the sticky note, I changed this up depending what I really need for the week. So you can see those were the um, changes I wanted to make for this week's um, habit trackers. So that is how I use my weekly in my Hobonichi Cousin. And then I don't really show my daily pages because I use them as a wellness check-in throughout the day. So I thought I would show you this page because I've put kind of headers at the top of each section so you can see how I use them. So priorities can be anything. They can be life admin, they can be wellness check-in, just anything I really need to focus on for the day. I have my affirmations here on the right side of the top section, and I have a wellness check-in for each of these slots throughout the day here. And it's kind of just identifying an emotion or a feeling um, and just writing that for the hour. And then I split my day in half and I rate my day. So out of a five star system, um, I will give myself how many stars for the day, and then I will use this section to journal about that star rating. Uh, is four stars high for the day based on kind of the last week and how I've been feeling, or is four stars low? Um, if there was anything significant that happened during the day, um, whether good or bad, I'll put that in here as well. Just not too detailed because I saved the detailed journaling for my actual journal. So this is just kind of a, a quick daily check-in that's easy to do, and I know I'll do it because it's really simple. And that is my Everyday Carry A5 Hobonichi Cousin. Then we have my extension planner. So I am using this gorgeous um, Happy Scrappy um, A5 Pink Tweed cover. And the notebook I am using is a Paper Test Designs A5 notebook. Um, really pretty. 
again more um dopamine deco i just love it it just makes me smile it's so funny um you can see i have ex an extension planner to-do list <laughs> this is going to be another youtube video where you help me close out february and open up march in this extension planner and i'll show you what all of that means so at the beginning i have my word of the year which is limitless trying to get out of a fixed mindset and go into a growth mindset about all the possibilities I have in my life and how I can make them happen. And then I have trackers. I'm like really good at this, guys. <laughs> so these are daily trackers. Um, all of my trackers are in my big sections. So health, finance, social media, home, and then goals. So I, I have um, daily health tracker, a daily finance tracker, social media, and goals. I don't have one for home because there really isn't anything that I need to track daily for home except maybe my tidy chore um, that I showed you in my weekly planning. Here are my weekly trackers in each section and you can see what it is that I am making sure I do each week. My monthly trackers and then my quarterly trackers. And then at the end, if I did everything I said I was going to do, I get to fill in the heart. So just something fun, you know, a little reward. So the next section is health. So you can see um, my tabs here. Um, there is sensitive information throughout this. So if you see lots of sticky notes, it's just because it's private, um, but I'll try to show you as much detail as possible. So I have all my medical information, doctor's information, hospital, medicines, supplements, allergies, all that. We have measurements and weight tracker. I have stress management and emotions. I just got this off of the internet and printed it on um, sticker paper and it just allows me to identify motions, um, just, um, kind of really pinpoint something uh, better. And then I have my health tracker legend. So I've had a health tracker for years. And um, with all the things I've been going through with my health, this has actually been really um, critical in me and my doctors figuring out what has been going on. So I will always, always, always have a health tracker, um, whether it's for my migraines or pain or doctor's visits, anything like that. It's been really helpful. So you can see kind of the symbols here, I've got more symbols here. On the back of the month, I have goals, so things I want to focus on for the month. And then I have planned versus actual workouts. So I love to weight train, I'm following a program. And so I will write the order of the workouts I'm meant to be doing, but obviously things come up. Um, sometimes you can't get to the gym or like I also am on a, let's say, indoor um, softball league and so I'm not really going to do leg day on the same day I have a uh, indoor softball tournament so it's really nice to kind of write you know schedule everything out but then write what I've actually done so I can make sure I stay on track and that is how I use my tracker I use sticky notes to um, map out when I have follow-up appointments like the week that they should be so that's really helpful. And then after my health tracker, I have um, a makeup reference. So all the products that I use in the shade, skincare reference, all of my kind of staple stuff that I use, um, and maybe some other stuff that I just kind of like cycle in depending on the season. My fragrance reference and then products I wanna try. So these are things that I need to do a bit more research on or maybe I'm not ready to buy. I just put them here so I don't forget about them. <laughs> um, and that is my health section. Next is finances. So I have my financial game plan. I have my annual overview based on spending for needs, wants, work, travel, debt, investments, and savings. Um, I have my bills here, which are just kind of not really changing. So I have a good picture of what comes out monthly, quarterly, and annual. I have my ideal budget. Um, this has kind of changed a little bit, but I've covered it up because obviously it has my salary and broken down into different bits. But trying to do kind of a 60, 30, 10 method or, you know, something like that kind of necessities, extras and then savings and things like that. I have my bill tracker, and then this is what like a month would look like. So um, I have my calendar here of when things come out so I can plan. 
all the bills coming out, my budget, ideal versus actual, and then what I saved, invested, and um, the debt that I paid, and then obviously um, my expenses. I'll show you how I track my expenses. Um, so I have the date, the expense, the account, the amount, and then the category. And this category is what you saw at the top of the annual. So we're um, needs, wants, work, travel, debt, invest, and savings. So it's super easy once I categorize everything like that to be able to pop them into that annual um, review. And then at the end, I have um, credit card payments, student loan, my parents' parent plus loan, and then any savings or investments. And that is my finance section, so pretty easy. Next is social media. So I'm not like a huge like social media planner. I do try to plan out when to do things. It doesn't always fit because my schedule is quite busy. Um, but I love to try to like map out content if I can. So using a month on two page system, kind of these are like my to do's. You can see I really wanted to get my YouTube stuff um, kind of done so I can start filming and uh, publishing videos. So that is how I'm using this section. And then after the planning section, I have these um, kind of brainstorm pages. So YouTube ideas, IG reels, TikTok ideas, planner ideas. And this is kind of for like future planning. So what I would potentially use for 2025. And then I have my planner covers and then favorite shops and discount codes. And that is my social media section. Next is home. So home projects, things to buy or sell, regular plan maintenance. So deep cleaning the washing machine, dishwasher, drains, things like that. My plant watering and fertilization. So I've got the week uh, watering and fertilizing and then the different strengths of fertilizers for each of my plants. And then this section is where I have pictures of my plants and I put their care information. And this is like really handy. And at the end, I have favorite recipes and blogs. Still need to fill that out. Favorite wines, apartment rental things, and then moving, packing, and selling. So that is my home section. And then my last big section is goals. So I have kind of a reflection of 2023 me, 2024 me. I have my annual goals here. I've got three. And then this is how I break it down into actions. So for January on the left, I have each of my three goals and what actions I need to take to start meeting these goals. And then I reflect on how all of that went. And then I have February and I do the same thing. I break it down um, and then um, we go from there. And these actions are what you saw in my Hobonichi cousin in the quarterly section where I'm kind of marking off those goals, those actionable goal steps. So I have these for the quarters. And then I have my hobby list, my reading goal. I've left lots of pages for my reading goal. And then an end of year reflection. And then this last bit, I've named it magic, but <laughs> I don't do magic. It's just brainstorming. So if I need a list or I'm thinking something out or I want to sketch something out, this is where that goes. Um, so anything um, related to my goals or big picture stuff, that all goes in the back. So as you can see, I still have some um, completing to do in my extension planner, but I think once I get the hang of it and I close out February and get back into March, uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll. So that is my A5 extension planner. Last up in my kind of personal planning is my A5 Slim Writer's Journal. Um, it is in another paper bound creation um, cover and this is the standard TN cover. Um, so I am using the Writer's Journal from Paper Test Designs. I love it. It's just lined. It's simple. I don't decorate at all. I literally just write. And I'm using a ballpoint pen from the Angel Shop from her Legally Blonde collection, which I love. So this is um, where I journal at night um, after I've kind of closed out my day in my Hobonichi Cousin. I just journal about my whole day, um, sometimes writing about the things that I did in my wellness check-in, um, and other times just anything else. 
And then lastly is my B5 Stology. So this is what I use for my affirmations and scripting. So scripting is just kind of writing over and over again the things that you want in your life. You're reminding yourself, you know, about the, the things that you want to have or do or that you've dreamed of. Um, so I just write those down every night and it can be, and most of the time it's based on my goals. So some financial affirmations and scriptings, some health um, goals, you know, scripting and affirmations, and then obviously my hobbies and things that bring me joy. So that is what those two are. So lastly, I have my work planner. So last year, I was in a bound book and I loved it. It was very easy, very simple. The only problem was it was really hard to organize, especially when I would have meeting notes in places that I needed to go back and reference, or if it came to a new month and I didn't already have the month like drawn out and ready to go, um, it would really kind of mess with me and I would kind of you know, be out of routine until I got the month drawn and I could plan and things like that. So I just thought, why don't I go back to rings and see how I do um, using rings. So I am in this vintage Louis Vuitton multicolor agenda um, in the large or GM size. I can't really show you too much in here because it is all very much um, confidential, but you can just see I've got some weekly and monthly reflections for work. Um, some important information here. And I love this little locker from Type A for Alexa. It's where I keep my sticky notes and kind of some references that I always um, reference on the back. Um, on the top tabs, these are the programs that I manage. So I keep my um, meeting notes in these top tabs. And then you can see the um, side tabs over here are the months. So I'll just go into May um, or sorry, that's March. Let's go into April. I haven't set up April yet. So um, this is an Annie Plans printables um, cover. And I have printed the Hobonichi Cousin style weekly on the inside. Um, and then I used the Puffin Pages Co. Um, work stream kind of insert where I put all my programs at the top and any of the to-dos and I kind of check off which program they're for. And then this to-do is for anything personally I'm doing for work. Like last year I was doing an action research project. So I was using this to-do um, from Marsha Bimucci Plans um, to just kind of keep track of all the things I needed to do for that project. And then you go into my daily pages. So these are a custom from Marsha Bumucci Plans. I just love that they're rainbow. It brings me joy. Um, the only thing I did to change them is actually just change the titles of this insert that she already had. And then instead of having um, Saturday and Sunday, we just made those extra note pages. Since I only use this for work, I really don't need um, Saturday and Sunday inserts. So I have priorities here. So these are things that like have to get done that day. I have my schedule here. I have requests or tasks. So throughout the day, it's not uncommon for someone to reach out to me and say, hey, can you do this? Or can you give me the data for this? Or can you write copy for communications going out? So anytime that happens, I put that here. So it's not getting muddled up in my priorities. And then I have um, check on. So if things are pending or I'm waiting um, for something to be able to move forward, I put that here. And then the note section is literally just for like brain dumps, scribbles, uh, meetings that aren't really kind of like in my um, top programs that I manage. Um, that all just goes here. And that's what I have for the rest of my notebook. I can only fit, um, I can only fit half the year in these rings and that's kind of pushing it. So I may have to move to bigger rings, but for now I'm absolutely loving the vibe in here and it's working really well to have more organization. So my top tabs for kind of specific program stuff and then my daily pages for actually getting kind of the operational stuff done. And that is my 2024 work planner. So that is my 2024 planner system. 
I know we've got a lot going on here, but all the planners have a clear purpose and function, and I'm really loving how things are going. I do have some ideas for how I might tweak things for 2025, but at the moment, I'm really loving it. And I'm loving all the pink. <laughs> Feels good to be back in pink. So thanks for stopping by and for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. Leave me a comment and say hi. Thanks for being here, and I will see you soon. Bye.